Tillotson, if you're watching this, can we patina this? The side cover is thick with two C's. You read this entire Ooh. set of instructions? Huh? No. All right. Ooh, this thing turns. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's up everybody? Cars and Cameras is going racing. In this box is a brand new Tillotson T4 racing go-kart for like circuit tracks. Uh, go Power Sports helped secure this deal for us and we are super excited because we've done all kinds of racing in the dirt. It's time Cars and Cameras does some racing on the pavement. So let's unbox this thing, put it together, take it to the track. Coming from a yard karting background, we have been absolutely blown away by the quality and technology used in this package. Almost everything you need to get on track comes with the T4 kit, and it sells on the Go Power Sports website for $4,250, which may sound like a lot, but you have to remember that this is for road racing. The package comes in cheaper and more powerful than the popular Briggs LO206 class. So all the parts are unboxed on this Tillotson T4 cart, and I, I'm so excited. It feels like that scene from Fast and Furious 1 where like all the parts all the are parts. out. Yeah, <laughs> it's sweet. Uh, so we're going to take a look at the instructions and start putting this puppy together, but my first impressions are that the quality is just outstanding on this thing. Like everything you look at is just crazy overbuilt and like just really nice. I'm afraid to touch it. Yeah, every, every time I want to touch, touch it, it I feel it's, like I need to wash just, my hands. It's just too nice. It's making me nervous. Uh, yeah, like... Um, I really would love to, uh, if, if Tillotson would let us, patina the frame. When I say patina, I, I'm thinking of a wrap, like putting a wrap on it where the rust spots are like running down, but then all the other stuff would be like clean. So Tillotson, if you're watching this, can we patina this? Let me tell you about excitement. Look at the size of this axle and... How light it is. How light it is. My weak arm. <gasps> call that physical therapy yeah physical therapy so this is like huge and uh i bet you it's really strong it's got to be really strong we're going to start things off by sliding in the axle the sprocket hub the brake rotor and then finish it all off with that sweet sweet power plant a 225 rs which is different than the regular one so right we'll get to that i'm going to go ahead and say as soon as you get your kit in spray it down with wd-40 so you don't get that flash rusting that we have. Yeah, because this is the south. We get a lot uh, high moisture here. Humidity. Very humid. All right, this is going to be rotational, dude. So I've just got to make sure because the fins. I got to okay. make sure it's right. Ike, who's going to set the fastest lap time between the cars and cameras crew? Me, you, or Charles? The Grand Prix lap with this? <laughs> Me. <laughs> No, I mean at the track. Oh. <laughs> Gosh, I'm gonna call it now. Um, you. We'll have to see. Yeah. Gotta make sure these Allen screws are loose. Dang it, Bobby. Yeah, it's, the T4 has keys we've never seen before. Yeah. Interesting. I guess so it's, you don't have to drill a whole keyway in the whole axle. Right. Oh, Charles is home. Race truck. Race truck. The T4's assembly process was straightforward thanks to the provided instructions. The hardest part was installing the vinyl graphics and mounting the seat. The T4 is mostly together. Assembly has been really straightforward so far. Everything fits perfectly. There's no drilling, no machining. It's just like straight up Legos. It's awesome. The livery also looks killer as well. Anyway, on to the power plant. So this is a 225 Tillotson. It's a 225 RS. 
I'm assuming racing stands, or R stands for racing, and S stands for sealed. And it's really interesting uh, how it looks compared to a regular 225 that you buy for your mini bike or go-kart. The clutch, carburetor, intake manifold, header, basically everything in the engine box has to be used in order to compete in the T4 series. The engine itself is very similar to a 225 you'd buy for a mini bike or go-kart. It has the same 15 or more horsepower, but it has a fuel pump, an hour meter, and an anti-tampering device installed. Another really cool thing about the 225 RS is that it's supposed to go 100 hours between rebuilds, which is a ton of track time. Because dressing the engine is basically like working on any other go-kart, we didn't have any trouble at all getting it together. Ready? Yeah, man. I can't see the front, so I'm just gonna do that. Okay. I can't see anything. Oh, goodness. That's okay. I can, I can put that one fish him up after? Yeah, I can get that one. Come on down, buddy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. You got your pliers on. I got my pliers. Yeah, let me take my pliers yeah. out. That's okay. No, I probably should. This is a pliers free environment. How's it feeling? Fast? I can really feel fast. Look at this. Priceless. Priceless. How'd you mess that up? Ricky Bobby is not a thinker, Ricky Bobby is a driver. <laughs> Just keep telling yourself that, bud. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, though, man. Hey. That was good. Hey. I think that's it, boys. I think you figured it out, man. Yeah, mine goes underneath the engine plate. I don't like it doing but that. Either way, either way, it's fine. Oh, look oh, at that. That's perfect. That's solid. Perfect. Solid. Yeah. Got perfect. this nifty that little hold good. down with an adjuster on it. So nifty. Hey, Charles, no. I need a tiny, no. tiny Allen. Trottle. Sweet. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. Okay, so feels feels good? Yeah. Let me all right, so we're going to have to check for a uh, wide open throttle. I bet we have to adjust this. Uh, yeah, it's wide open. Isn't it, it is? It is. Yeah. Wow. Goodness, it's a tight fit. I'm glad I got it. You gotta put out so much, but you gotta be gentle at the same time. Yep. Hey, you're getting it, man. So there's a factory spec fuel filter that we need if we wanna go racing competitively, but for now we're gonna use one of our uh, regular fuel filters. Cool power sport. Yeah. I have a feeling that that racing fuel filter is just super strong. And yeah. Like won't crack under vibrations and stuff, because I've had a lot of fuel filters sit right here on my go-karts in yeah. between the engine and the gas tank. And this, this spot right here, it shakes, it bounces, and I've cracked a few of them right there on the frame. Sure. So That's probably why. They probably want a real special one. Yep. So where do you want the fuel filter? I, I sometimes, look, this is what I did to prevent mine from cracking. I moved them from here to here. That's fine. I mean, so the fuel filter, like I could see it. Yeah. Now I loved them down here. They even made a little bracket to hold them and everything, but the vibrations just snapped the, the ends off of them. So when I moved it to here, I stopped breaking them. That's cool. Um, we can set it up without you being at it. Oh, you sure can. All right, so there it is. So fast forward and we have the seat on the T4, the wheels, tires are mounted. We're pretty much ready to go here. We have oil in it. We're ready to see if the engine is gonna run and, and run one of the break-in procedures. And then we're gonna be getting up bright and early and headed to the GoPro Motorplex, which is the closest, or one of the closest, really, really great road course tracks to break this thing in at. And I think we're all gonna give it a go on here. Um, but it's time to put fuel in it yep. and see what happens. I'm sure your neighbors are gonna love you because it's after nine o'clock at night. So... I mean, that's up to you. We can either skip it and do it at the track and just hope for the best. Because the break-in procedure, isn't, isn't that gonna be like 15 or 20 minutes? Yeah, we should just do it at the track. We should do it at the track. All right. This is the first time it's been on the ground, like assembled. So I'm gonna sit in it real quick. It's pretty and awesome. I want you to sit in it because we set this thing up for me. Yeah, that's cool. I'll sit in it. Okay, cool. I've been told it's going to blow all of our minds, so I really hope that happens. Yeah. Oh, I'm ready. 
like it. Yeah, look at how the, uh, so the frame twisting is actually like how this, it helps it like turn in and it's, stuff. It's, it stays it's planted to the ground. Wild. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, however, it, it will make like a rear tire lighter, yeah. you know, and help you with turning and all like that stuff. And stuff. We're going right. to learn more about it as we do it. Um, we're just going from dirt to asphalt for the first time, pretty much. <laughs> but this is crazy. Wow, look at that. Woo! Set up for a short Italian, man. Actually, it feels good to me. Really? Yeah. Nice. So come tomorrow morning, we're loading the T4 up and we're headed to the track. Should be a good time. They have some rental carts as well. I was thinking you and Charles could hop in the rental carts and then hop in this and, and see what you think of the difference. I mean, those are powered by GX390s. Uh-huh. So they have almost double the displacement. Right. So, hey, I don't know. I'm down. We'll see. Uh, it should be a good time. We'll see you there. The GoPro Motorplex is an 11-turn paved road course 30 minutes north of Charlotte, North Carolina. Pro drivers from NASCAR and IndyCar frequently practice here in the off-season, and it's home to some of the fastest rental carts in the country. We're starting things off gently to follow the engine break-in guidelines, and also it's kind of chilly outside, so we don't want to spin this thing with cold tires right off the bat. After a few warm-up sessions, we're going to turn up the heat to see what this thing can do. You guys ready? Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm excited. You got to push it over there, right? Here we go. Oh yeah, we got to push it. Okay. There you go. All right. Oh, this is awesome. How's it feel? It feels like a million bucks. Oh boy. All my dreams are coming true right now. Ooh, we go fast. I'm on fire. I missed you, Mama Speed. All right, let's oh, not spin it. Ooh, this thing turns. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cold tires. Wow. Yeah, this thing turns. I can already tell this thing is going to turn. Ooh, yeah, this thing hooks. And all it wants to do is slide. All right, this one is fun. Steering, John. Steering? How's the steering? The, no, the gearing, the, oh, the, gear. the gear ratio. Oh, I'm sure it's fine. I'm just being a a wiener here. Hold on, let me uh, let me get it up to about five thousand. Woo! This thing can turn, baby. Yeah, that's five thousand. So I, uh, it's probably okay. Might be a little short. Yeah, there's some heat in them tires. Not Man, much. I gotta say that thing was looking pretty good out there. Yeah. It was like, I was, what, like at four seconds off my fastest ever rental cart time, like driving at half to three quarters pace. First time ever, so this thing has got some stones. So I've now been out at full race pace in the T4. Ike and Charles are gonna hop in the rental carts, and then they're gonna take the T4 out and see what they think. There goes Charles. Looks like Ike's in the lead. Looks like it's a close race between Ike and Charles. means we got to go out again since me and Charles weren't side by side. <laughs> That's right. 
I was trying to catch up with Charles. Yeah. All right, your rental race, guys. What'd you think? I think the car handled real good. I feel I feel pretty good. Ike, you ran a 66, Charles 68, something yeah. like that? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see, uh, let's see how the T4 compares. Oh, that's right. So we did our second round of break-ins and got it up to 6,200 RPM, and the, the thing is a ripper. So it's cooled down. It's ready for whole hog. We're doing it. Red line. Just gonna send Just it. Just gonna send it. Let's get some heat in the tires, boys. Let this guy on by, man. He's just hit the corner. Yep. There he goes. Here we go. Oh, he's fast. Man, he's fast. Oh, he's letting the faster guys by. Let's get some heat in the tires. Ooh, this thing uh, yeah, is man. Fast. This is a fast go kart. There's someone four seconds behind you and he's pulling on you. So just be ready in about another 30 seconds to be passed. Okay. Oh my goodness. On this test day, the other carts on the track were two-stroke powered X30s, which one, make way more horsepower, and two, are way more expensive to buy and maintain. The T4 is actually designed as a feeder class for that level of racing, and Tillotson actually makes the fuel system for them as well as the T4. Not bad, bud, not bad. That thing's uh, doing pretty good. This thing is really sinking fast. Oh, and we got a spinner. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe I caught that on video. Oh my gosh. Holy moly. Oh, my hands are going to be so sore. Dude. Because, um, this is the first, like, whole hog. We can check the plug again. Yeah, I'll check the plug again. Uh, Holy moly. Hey, how about, how about that right How about that spin out in front of you? The spin out was scary. I, yeah. I got um, that on video. And that's only 10 minutes in that thing. The pain. The, that's only 10 minutes. You, you're not going to know what hit you, dude. Yeah, no. I don't, I don't know what hit you. Watch that exhaust. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Okay. Joke's on. I've already lost you. I was trying to make sure John had his stuff to take care of. You're good. Oh, there you, you go. Let there the you tires go. warm up a little bit. He's moving. Good job, buddy. All right, here I go, boys. You'll notice that a few of the other carts are passing us like we're standing still. This is for a few reasons. One, because it's our first day on a proper racing cart that's capable of pulling well over 1.5 Gs, we're just not used to this experience and sensations. And two, more importantly, these other go-karts are two strokes that cost well over twice the amount of money to purchase, and they have much more rigorous maintenance intervals compared to the T4 as well. Woo! So, sure, you might be shaving a few seconds off your lap time, but these carts can easily cost over $10,000 to purchase, as well as having more expensive and frequent maintenance schedules. And here Ike was saying that I'm only gonna do two or three laps. He's staying out for the whole session. I feel like that tells you all you need to know. This thing's so awesome. You good? You good? Here at the end. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, I was supposed oh, to go, you I was supposed oh, to go okay. the other way. Yeah, you yeah, you're supposed to go the other way, but that's okay. That was awesome. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you're worn out. Around you? that way. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. All right. Sorry, Let's get you back to the uh, truck. All right. All right. Our buddy Wyatt is going to find Ike's fastest time. How do you feel about it, man? I feel like it was faster than the uh, rental cart. What was it? Oh, one minute dead. One, one minute nine. That is faster than the rental cart, dude. That's what was your six time? seconds faster what than the rental your time? cart. That doesn't matter, dude. No, right. what was I your time? I got a weight advantage on you. Well, I, you do, but what was your time? 56.50. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's all right. I mean, this is your first time on it. I've had three yeah. of those, so. All right, so I'm six seconds faster. Yeah. That's, that's killer, man. That's a lot. Uh, where John has the advantage over me, he's got a line. He's really good at holding his line. I bet you there isn't an identical spot on that track that I ran over <laughs> more than once. Yeah. yeah. You hit every part of the track. Yeah, I, I, hit, do, I was I all this, over. I, yeah, I rent the track. I, I want to yeah. drive the whole thing. Yeah. How did you feel about the uh, handling? Oh, it handles great. Uh, it's pretty loose, isn't it? It's just... Uh, it's a killer. You know, this is one of those you have to hold your momentum. Yep. And I was I was com coming in the corner corners. I'm, I can't even talk. Yeah. I was coming in the corners kind of hot. And, uh, you know, drifting is not ideal on this thing. You no, lose you, a lot you, of momentum. You got sideways on I the I got sideways for times. a few of them. And, of course, right whenever I straightened out, it's like... Buh, I had to start all over again. Yep. So uh, I need to work on my lines. Yep, I hear you. Yeah. But it was fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. We had an absolute blast on the Tillotson T4 at the GoPro Motorplex on this test day. Um, just the G-Force is is pretty mind boggling. And this is going from a fast rental cart. These rental carts go 55 miles an hour. And this thing was like night and day. It blew all of our minds. Charles didn't ride it because he was having back issues. So maybe next time we take it out, he'll get to hop on it. But uh, absolutely insane. My fastest time first day on the Tillotson T4 was a 5650 around the GoPro Motorplex. My fastest of all time rental cart race, which I've got over 100 laps on those rental carts, was a 64 dead. And that is drafting. So we're talking about seven and a half seconds faster on my first day, no drafting. Um, yeah, this thing hulls. It's the 225 has way more acceleration than the uh, 390 powered rental car. That's because it doesn't weigh anything. So the construction is super high quality. The driving experience is insane. The G-force is wild to experience. Around one of those corners, like turn three or four, feels like it wants to rip your arm off the steering wheel. You're cornering that stinking hard. Uh, anyway, big thank you to Go Power Sports and Tillotson for sending us one of these things. Let us know in the comments if you want to see some racing content uh, with the Tillotson T4. Uh, call up Go Power Sports. Get yourself one. I'd love to start going racing uh, with these things in North Carolina here at the GoPro Motorplex. And if you pick one up, send me a message on uh, Instagram. And if you want to get together and go racing at the uh, GoPro Motorplex or another track local to uh, North Carolina, it would be a lot of fun. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, subscribe to Cars and Cameras. Uh, get some merchandise at cars-cameras.com. Help support the channel. We'll catch you next time. Did you see that? What? Oh, it just popped just out. popping out, man. Popping out left and right. It's like a award show with a... With a... <laughs> Where's that this one the, going? That was, that was the Super Bowl.